Rook, be advised, we just disabled the bomb and we're moving up towards the Crucible. Bravo team is about uh, to pincer the rioters. Deal with them sw swiftly and we'll be waiting uh, for you at the Crucible. Understood. Continuing on. You guys are going to head forwards, are you? Yeah, I just want to make sure the... Um, my apologies to my memories for... What was the... What was the name of Dr. Robotnik again? Uh, he is currently, if you want to look, he is in the data place, Dr. Sunkwas. Sunkwas. It's awesome when Ash can't pronounce the names of his own NPCs and then remember, uh, asks us to remember them. Oh, I burped in the middle of his yeah. name, it's not my fault. <laughs> so yes, he is currently located up at the entrance to the crucible that you guys are facing currently. The entrance to Crucible itself is a very large, foreboding corridor. A, well, an armored tunnel would probably be a more appropriate term. Aiden, I suspect since you're currently on the ground floor, are you going to be merging with a group? Yeah, I'll uh, take point. So I'm assuming it's too narrow for us to bring our big, beautiful mech in? Oh no, it's a very large uh, no. thing. You can bring him in. Yeah, I'll take point oh. and lead so the way. Yeah, um, do you think the mech yeah. at that point? But, mm, the... <laughs> I am big. You're big and you're chunky. Now, currently, you can hear on the radio that the two squads have engaged this area, but they're having a lot of trouble. As it turns out, it seems like the mercenaries, what ones are there, are giving them very harsh pushback. I mean, their job is simple. I don't told them, hold the line, we're going in. So. You move on forward. Is there anything you want to do as you progress into the Iron Tunnel? Uh, maybe this is a good time for a selfie and a prayer? Now, you're moving on the main corridor. Oh no, they have a force wall. I will tell you exactly what that is in a moment. As soon as... And the then I scroll down and I'm like, fuck! Those are a lot of boys. Yeah, those are a lot of fucking boys. So, this wall here, as you can see, the blue, that is currently actually a laser grid. And it doesn't seem to be attached to anything. It's think of it like a net. You can shoot through it, but getting through it is a difficult yeah. prospect. Right, and currently before you, before the barrier, the gate barrier, you can see a bunch of people shouting at you. Uh, primitive weapons raised, some bottles and some molotovs and the like. As you progress <coughs> onto their location. I was just gonna wave to the crowd and be like, Hello, I am Yorovarp. Your comrades have let me through. I have come to put the eyes and the ears of the packed world on your leader. Please, bring the Major out to speak. Why would you want to speak to you? And you just hear the cacophony of shouting of, Why would you want to speak to you? It's like, you've done nothing but push us back this entire time, right? And it's a, they seem very wild up. While they're doing that, I'm gonna knock on the side of uh, the mech and say, Kuzon. Ready a riot grenade. Please, <laughs> we've done nothing but spread your message. The people have to hear you now. The leadership on the Adari, they can't quell you anymore. There's no more need for the riots. You've met your goal. You've gotten the people's eyes upon you, exactly as all protests should. All right, let's have a look. Prava, could you make me a deck save? <laughs> I can, yes. I don't want to, but yes. <laughs> I'll take it. Whatever they're throwing at. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, essentially, a Molotov comes flying towards you, and as, it is, as it's about to land, you definitely catch it in your hand. Can I identify who did that? That was definitely in someone in the riot uh, the team. Can if you I... want to identify, you can use perception. I'm going to catch it with gravity holds, and I'm going to whiff it into the wall beside me to get it out of the way. So, like, it's coming at me, I telepathically grab it, and I just whip it off to the side. Yeah, I would allow that. So, it comes towards you, just... So, what do you want to do, Kuzon? Uh... If I... If I want to identify the cluster that fucking did that. Like, let's see if I can identify who threw it. That's fine. Let's have a look. <clears throat> Right, as you're sensing, essentially, it was probably this guy back here. I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bark out and just go, "Hey, asshole! He wants to talk." 
I'm like leering at leering at this guy in particular with the headlights of this thing. Oh, did you spot the door it was on? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put my blinkers like on this guy. Like I'm gonna focus them on this fucker. <laughs> um I'll that guy should make a fortitude save. Uh, Ash, real quick, can I roll perception to see if there's any way, maybe shafts or anything that I can use to get on the other side of this uh, laser? Uh, well, I'm not sure if you guys known this. Oh, wait a second. What's this? I think, I I think Kava's grabbing the guy that I identify. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, everything's happening at once, but first, uh, since it was a scene thing, I'm not sure if you guys know, but these things up here are walkways, not walls. Yeah. And these things here, since you actually saw enemies come out of them before, are doors. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, in that case, before shit hits the fan, Elf wants, uh, Aiden wants to stealth this shit, and he's out. All right. In commotion, you can attempt a stealth throw. And what's this? What the DC does he have to four save? Four Sixteen. Yeah, he makes it. So essentially, as you reach out to grab, he feels a slight pull. It's like, he's he's trying to use magic on me. It's like, what? <laughs> Please, I've come to talk. Don't respond to my words with violence. We're beyond this now. See, all they want to do is push us around. By the way, Eden, you are. They don't seem to have completely noticed you as you've jumped away, like up and on the rail. And by the way, uh, that is 10 feet tall to jump up on there. But you. I'm going to assume that have, with the uh, <laughs> jet dash, I'll, I'm easily able to make that jump. Even if you want me to make uh, acrobatics, I'm okay with that. Well, you also have that thing as well, so you can make a 10 foot jump without even one up. <laughs> so. Essentially, as everything started, let's have a look. What is these guys gonna do? Oh, I have a question. I wanted to ask. I, I should have asked, but I, I didn't. I didn't think of it. Mm -hmm. Is there a way for me to use my barrier making ability while in the mech? Like, uh, I would say cool? you would have to open and get out of cover of a mech with a move action, and then activate it. But yes, All you right. could. So you have to pop the hatch and then use it. Okay. I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to like step forward. Like basically I am, uh, I'm just going to take a step forward and just be like, stop throwing shit. My shit's better. <laughs> stop throwing my stuff is much better than yours. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ping, I'm gonna ping Pravas to me in a game. Like, just say the word and I'll fucking gas these assholes. Not yet, I think I can still get through to them. Please, just ask the Major if he will see us. You don't have to make any promises, just go, get his opinion. The Major gave us one order, and that was to hold off anyone from entering the Crucible. Surely, but the situation has clearly changed. We've made it this far. We've talked to your compatriots. They understand our mission, and we understand your plight. One moment. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> no. Right. So, essentially, as uh, you guys are talking, and Kuzon, you moved up, you see this bright red line, like, just going across your mech for a moment. But then, suddenly, it kicks up, and this beam just flies up into the roof of this armored tunnel, lighting up the entire area in a bright red flash. As it seems like the... Are the heavy weapon back here had fired but the kickback just made it blast the rooftop uh i'm just gonna i'm just gonna communicate it's like i think negotiation is failing <laughs> you're right they're attacking with clearly lethal force we must defend ourselves right and that would mean turn time right aiden it's your turn 
Uh, right. Uh, first of all, can I tell at a glance because I had a bit of time if this door's unlocked or not? It is not locked. Excellent. Right, before I do anything, I want to take out this, um, with my item interaction a uh, smoke grenade and toss it into the crowd. <coughs> Let's see here. 14. Is that good enough to land in this general direction somewhere? Uh, 13. Yes, I believe so. I think, once again, let me check. Because you're throwing out of space. Yeah. Yes, and how many feet is that? Uh, 20 feet. Uh, I want to cover uh, uh, this area over here. So all these guys are basically in the smoke. Oh, one second. Uh, your throwing thing is only about. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. Open. You're right. Okay, so I'm gonna toss it here and basically smoke out these guys over here. Okay. Right. Let me draw a nice, lovely shape. So yeah, twenty feet is uh, feet is the smoke. You know, in a square. Let's make sure it stands out, unlike last time. <laughs> we should use orange. Yeah, orange right, sounds mark nice. Mark the thing again. There it is. There, uh, one, two, three. So... Fuck me. He's <laughs> a 20 foot square. Yep. God, that's a lot. Perfect. That is currently covered in smoke. Uh, oh boy. I think that's, that's a lot of smoke. smoke. Did somebody say smoke? <laughs> oh, Did okay, someone no, I... say I'm invisible? Did somebody <laughs> say Doggo loves this shit, smoke Doggo? <laughs> God, I'm getting a lot of bank out of these fl uh, out of this, uh, these smoke grenades. I need to get other grenades too. Also need to get fucking turns out, bonuses. Turns out when you have a character that uh, can see perfectly fine in smoke, smoke grenades are really good. Right, so I, that's uh... my... That's my action and item interaction. For my move action, I wanna uh, kick the door open, action movie style. And action I'm gonna basically rush through it, depending on what I see on the other side. I like to imagine these are slide doors, and he just kicks it and bangs his foot, and then it just slides open. <laughs> You're like, ha, ah, ding! Ah. Boy, that'd be funny, wouldn't it? So that's 10, 15. Do I see more, more doors on both sides? What's over here? Yes, anything with this style of metal, by the way, you know, this yeah. one, these are doors. And this it looks to be some sort of, well, console and machinery. Gotcha. So 20, another kick. Another kick, another hurt ankle, and... <laughs> So you've, you've stopped being uh, sneaky, yeah? Nope, I'm not sneaky. Okay... I'm rushing I'm through. Gonna... You've opened up this. I get up to here and uh, as a free action I use my quick release shift to pull out my combat knife and I'm done. So you're just rushing down this dude who's like, Huh, a bit of combat, oh my god! Yep. <laughs> and that's me. <laughs> Kuzon, you are a riot mech. There is a riot in progress. What do you do? Um, I am going to use my move action. And uh, I'm basically going to make the mech, like, kneel down for a moment. And I'm going to set up some... I don't, actually don't know if I can make it as wide as my mech. I don't know if that actually works. I guess it is only five feet, huh? So I guess yeah, I it's a five-foot barrier. Does that even do anything for the mech? If I do that? No, you're 10 foot tall. Um, <laughs> is there a way for me to like put it adjacent so like I can put it in front of Bravo? Any, example? I would say since you're in the mech, any space adjacent to you is you yeah. can put it down if so you I want. So I can, I can use my move action be like, here Prava, and I give him a, like, give him a wall. Oh. Uh, by the way, I don't think there's a feat that can actually upgrade that ability, but I'd say talk with Ash and maybe get another feat so you can make that uh, improvised cover even cooler. Yeah, I was thinking at some point I'd like invent something that lets me like create force fields and that would just be how I use that ability if I ever upgrade it. Yeah, like, yeah. 
mm -hmm. to create temporary cover and stuff. But I'm gonna do that to give Prava like partial cover against what they're about to fucking throw at him. And then yeah, I'm just gonna. I know, I know, I know at least one asshole who has murderous intent. So I'm gonna fire my riot grenade right there. Oh Jesus! Right. Let me. Uh... I'm gonna fire one of my riot grenades. Pardon. So should that be? I should do like a just an attack, right? Yes. Basically, you're attacking with a grenade launcher. So the right side is smoke and the left side is tear gas. Is that? Pick your poison, <laughs> basically. Let me see. Uh, essentially, it's attempting to make them staggered. So as they already peppered by a smoke grenade, then a riot grenade lands here and explodes, sending tiny rubber ball bearings just slamming about the place. Just as the group, I'm going to just mark one of them. I'm going to mark the one you aimed for. Yeah, they the one that threw the fucking Molotov. <laughs> Because <laughs> adding the same token to every single one is going to take forever. <laughs> so yes, they are now officially staggered. 26. Oh boy. Right. Who's on? As you are using your mech, you suddenly have the feeling, well, your controls are not exactly responding the same way that they were before. You feel some sort of pull as now oh wow it does give the same effect now your mech is staggered you may only make a move or an attack action or attempt to on your turn to resist the hack okay so that that was like not i didn't see anything come at me this is like a wireless interference thing maybe uh well, like, is there a way I can like figure that out? I guess <laughs> you probably would have to roll for it. Okay. For now, from now, in Kuzan's perspective, it's not working, and mm -hmm. for a while. Now it's this guy, and this guy already failed to fire his gun, so he is spending his turn basically popping open the end of a cannon, loading back in another shell and locking it back up and charging it. He's lucky that cannon didn't explode when he crit want. I know systems <laughs> that do that. Where, where's the guy standing with the cannon? Right in the back, if you look. Just look all the way up. You see the dude, oh, he's got a little turret icon. Oh, he's all the way back there, okay. That's what I'm making sure I was looking at the right guy. He f basically fired over the crowd and completely missed you. Brother, your turn. You can never get here. He has the high ground though. Yeah, he has high ground. The highest of grounds. Now, I don't have any fancy non lethal weapons like my other boys have. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna specifically take a pot shot, I guess, at the guy who threw a grenade at me. <laughs> okay, so generally you're attacking the crowd, but aiming for this dude, I suspect. If you remember, I also enter a graviton attunement. Of uh, if you remember last time, Fivoron actually used one of the rubber bullets that I fired off. Now there's ball bearings everywhere because of the rat grenade. Maybe you can use those. Do you, I don't think he has the telekinetic uh, throw thing. Yeah, throw just have mine, like, yeah, I can just with people. I can't. <laughs> ah, okay. You just throw people, not <laughs> objects. Exactly. I can move objects of less than five pounds as if I was carrying them, but yeah. So, make your attack. One. Yeah. You're you, you lucky you did fucking decapitate the dude. <laughs> you rolled higher. <laughs> right. This guy's gonna be the poor guy that's gonna represent the damage state on the crowd as well. You can see as the bolt of ice flies in, just as he's about to get out uh, another cocktail, it just decapitates the cocktail's head and into his shoulder. He's like, ah, damn it! Sorry! And sorry, not sorry. Their turn, but... <laughs> they can only... They're all melee combatants who are staggered, is that...? They can only... <laughs> They can only attack the 
They can only really throw things towards, not even you, because you're 10 foot high. They can only throw things at the mech. Or move out of the smoke. Oh, oh, harsh. It's almost like us going before the mob was very advantageous for us, Ash. Yes, it was, wasn't it? They're gonna ruin my day. You're in a giant they might mech. Your point job, but <laughs> they're gonna throw either rocks or molotovs at you, like. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? It's like, oh, what are they gonna do to me? He says as Ruined he's just paint. laying down his mech. It's like, oh, but I think they could actually. Oh my god! No, they can't. Oh my god! Right, they're gonna have to get in close then. Oh wow, okay. This is gonna, this is gonna take forever, one second. <laughs> I'd like to think that a few of them trip on the barrier that don't see it because of the smoke. Your barrier takes up a space, doesn't it, Kuzon? Yeah, it takes up uh, the space, I'd, definitely. I'd say it probably takes up that space. It's meant to be like a physical barrier, yeah. Oh boy, are they surrounding me? Oh no, it's almost like if you step on them, you'll literally kill a couple of them. Easy, just step around. Yeah. Riot, but sadly, you can see that most of them are like, Ugh, and can't do much to you. So they're staggered. They can only make a movement or attack. Sadly, they chose to move. <laughs> um, I guess here's my question. With them this close, and like, because I've seen how that weapon fired, right? Is it safe to assume that it would be risky to like even shoot at me with that thing anymore? With this many people crowded around me. They're they're five foot high. You're ten foot high, so they got an extra five feet to shoot. I mean, if you assume they can shoot through the smoke. Yeah. Tiron, there's a crowd of people staggering up towards you and the mech. What do you do? I don't think they want an autograph too. You also have smoke to advance in if you really desire. Um, that's what I was just about to ask, uh, Kuzon, do you have, like, thermal imagers on that thing or something? I don't think so. Normally the pilot has thermal imaging goggles on. I mean, I, I have the infrared. They're, my dark vision edition is called infrared, but I don't think it gives me smoke vision. All right. Very weird it's called infrared when there's actually a thing infrared, it's weird. <laughs> I'm assuming I'm about to make some happy Aiden noises because Dog was about to use the present I gave him. Yeah, um... He's gonna take a uh, guarded step back here. And he's going to try and uh, just lob this grenade over... <laughs> So he's gonna roll the grenade under Kuzan's mech into this square. Nice. What kind of weapons are these guys carrying? Like, are they carrying like bats and stuff? Yes. They're carrying like bats, pipes. Uh, some are carrying a few knives. One's carrying a shopping cart. He's doing a what shopping now? Shopping cart? Is he like lifting up a shopping cart? Hey, you don't know where he got it from. You haven't seen any around here. There's no shops in Crucible. Must be a souvenir. <laughs> okay, so I hit that square. Is that how you turn? turn? Yep. Okay. I... Jesus. But it's, so it's good smoke. for you. It's healthy, trust me. Aiden. This oh, wait, this guy surprised. didn't move. Oh, he was surprised. Okay. Uh, does he have any weapons? Does he look like he's part of the riot? Uh, he does have what appears to be a makeshift uh, machine gun. Oh, perfect! In that case, since I'm already next to him, I'm gonna full attack his ass. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time for some uh, classic CQC, my dude. With a combat knife God, in well, hand. With all this smoke, these guys couldn't even go. They were like, the fuck the f- uh. Oh, I'm gonna assume only the 19 hit. Alright. Five. So yeah, he takes five damage. And I guess since you... I full attack, I can't move, so I'm good. You're good for now? Okay. Yeah. Kuzon. Um, I assume, so like, 
from my perspective, am I like taller than the smoke cloud or am I very much in the smoke? You're in the smoke okay. cloud because it's a yeah. 20 foot box. <laughs> um, I want to try to figure out what's tampering with me. All right, you may roll for so that computers. Like computer? You may roll arcane or computers, in fact. <laughs> I'm definitely not rolling arcane. <laughs> Right, let's see, 18. But you know for a fact that, given, well, your technical know-how, that what's influencing this isn't an outside signal, since you, as you turn off the signal, it still influences you, leading you to believe it could be technomancy. Motherfuckers. And you can uh, fight it off if you desire. I, I'm trying to think, there's not like an action that because it's not only have a move action and an action action. There's not really like an action I can do with the mech to like brace it against getting hit with sticks and stuff, right? Um, no, your mech. Yeah, so <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, there's not like a dodge action. So I'll, uh, I'll use my, since it's not really useful for me to like, I don't want to stop around everybody. And Kuzan kind of accepts that I'm just being a distraction right now for the crowd. Um, I'm going to uh, just like use my action try to shunt this guy out of my ship I guess like I'll plug my uh, I'll like plug my cortex into it and try to like interface with it and just eject whoever's fucking with my stuff alright so you can attempt another computer check if you desire basically that was your free item interaction of discovering what exactly it was damn Oof, you're having trouble that's ejecting. That's what happens when I roll a natural one, boys. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit of computer. Still 14. Sadly, not as good as the Technomancer attempting to mess up your day. Okay. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll make sure the, the hood of my ship is nice and secure and just brace myself. Okay, then. Let's have a look. Technomancer time. Hmm. What should I do? Damn, I can't even properly do much else. He is actually not going to continue to control your mech, but he is going to use one of his spells and basically create a brisk wind. Oh wow, how scary and intimidating, Cash. So, I guess you could favor this as he's basically turning on the air, like the air con, and blowing away this 20 foot square, since it's only a 20 foot spell as well, so can't blow away both. <laughs> I like the idea that it's like, oh man, we'll finally clear out this fog, and then they blow it away. It's like, fuck, they did it again! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, aha, god damn it, there's another one behind it. What yep. the fuck? The Inception, man, <laughs> nobody sees that shit coming. Right, now it's this guy's turn. He still cannot see you, but he's gonna prepare his uh, action. Meanwhile, this one is getting out one of his rifles and firing towards you, Prava. One second. Okay. However, as he fires towards you, you he doesn't hit you. All you see is these bright lights just suddenly la land around you, like boom, 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 like flares, lighting you up. As he's using the technique harrowing fire with a flare rifle. Okay. And what does that what's that do to me? What did he accomplish? The enemies get a plus four to hit you. Oh my. Normally it's a plus two, but with a flare rifle it's a plus four. And the fun thing is, is that there's two snipers up above. Uh -oh. Again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Is this how Prava died? No, I rolled a one. Oh my god, I gotta roll this. Let me read. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the, these these weapons are really really shoddy apparently. 
you can see as one ticks in, he's like, yeah, time to do. But clearly, he has not fired one of these before. And the bullet catches as he fires, and the entire magazine just poof, explodes in his face. Just catching him off guard. Taking seven damage, Jesus. The other one, however, does hit. And he deals... Six damage. Oh shoot! I just no. realized that I, I was reading over this thing. I just realized that I uh, this thing's a two seater. Yes, yeah, someone can latch onto the back. That's kind of fun. And they can control weapons if you desire. Right, and I believe that's everybody. Oh no, wait, one Aiden's facing. Yep. Yeah, he's a. Uh gonna choose to drop his gun and draw one of his swords instead to face you. Sounds fun. Let's do it. What's your kinetic AC? Uh, my kinetic AC is 17. It is 17. Okay. Oh no, he can because he used his move action to draw so essentially as he draws his weapon he swings it down towards you just but it's barely blocked in time uh, that's why i have my knife out brother you're getting shot by sniper fire but not as much as you expected kind of weird <laughs> yeah it's like the snipers work in teams looks like there's only one operating yeah that's weird <laughs> can we just, uh, slip through this door right here Okay, swimming through this door. I kind of like look at Kuzan and kind of like point to the door before I go through. Like, hey, I'm gonna check out this way. You I'm just from the yeah. Oh, right, the smoke. You have to use your communicator and you'd be like, I'm heading through the the, the west Uzan, door. I'm just heading through the west door up here. I'm gonna see if I can sneak around. <laughs> yeah, it's like if you can, if you can. If you could take care of that guy with the missile launcher or whatever in the back. Right, and you open this one as well. <laughs> one second. This is where we find out I went down the wrong corridor on the other side. There's 10 fucking people. No, but someone was on their way before, uh, you said it come on through. Um, are you going to reveal or not game? There and we go. Keep, and you keep trying to persuade me that having animations in Roll20 is a good idea. <laughs> uh, probably kind of like a blinks and looks at the sky. <laughs> the guy like, digs back. Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm Adverb. I'm a news reporter from uh, Channel 7. Uh, your your guys are fighting with the police forces now, but they sent me ahead to talk to the major. You should get out there and help them real quick. <laughs> roll, roll deception. <laughs> I'm going to take it to account that he hasn't seen it yet. Oh, wait, didn't you do the whole plus two thing before? She uh, went into that mental thing, didn't you? Does that just affect diplomacy? Um, just a sec, I'll check real quick. <laughs> I think Man. it might end when I enter combat, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's only to diplomacy, so I don't get any bonuses in this. Alright, so, essentially he, st he stands uh, to the side and lets you move up next to him. Like, he's still got his gun out already, but he's like... Alright, uh, come this way. He hears the gunfire and he's like... Uh, it's all right, It's really important that the Major's message is heard by the galaxy. I'll make sure that you guys are not ignored. Uh, I see. He's a bit on edge still. They're clearly watching you. He's like, It's fine, don't worry about the cops. We won't want us not to kill any of them. I mean, hey, they're the ones pushing you guys down. You gotta do what you have to do, huh? Well, it's, it gets our message across, you know. And, and he's gonna like, okay, you can go on. He's, okay, he's, got, he's actually movements. looking. <laughs> he's actually like looking over you as you're standing there. But probably doesn't have any weapons, does he? No, he, he always manifests it around his hand when he shoots it, and then it disappears and goes back to being a star. So he looks completely unarmed. 
One second, let me. He's actually just looking at the star, just like, hmm. Interesting. He does not know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> he does not it, seem to. It's my little flashlight. <laughs> He's like, that's an interesting device. As he stands it's there. It's lighting for my streaming equipment. Oh, no, now this is going to be fun. Right. Oh, nice. Okay, so since you're in their range, they are outright just attacking. But I am going to give them, look, they still hit. And they deal automatic damage to anyone within their range. So a mech takes 12 damage, which is only 6 damage, as they start beating on it with their things. Just de -de 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 -de. They're still staggered, though, so they can only do that. They can't even move up to threaten Tivron. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> uh -huh, I blind you. <laughs> I was a big being blind. Uh -huh, smoke, on, goes <laughs> smoke goes brrrr. Um, uh, I really wish I took Hurl Force Disc. <laughs> Just ping pong a Force Disc off of all of them. Such attacks do do extra damage to troops. It's almost like you want to prepare for facing an army. Oh, shame. But I am. I, I'm a, I'm a nerd mystic, not a damage mystic. <laughs> Fucking make sure nerd. That you guys know everything. <laughs> Fucking nerd. So, I am going to delay. I think. Oh, you're going to delay. Yeah. You can delay. You can climb a mech. You can fire its weapons. You can do anything you want. But what are you going to do? I'm. Tiburon does not use firearms, first and <laughs> first, foremost, for obvious reasons. <laughs> it's fine. How how bl more blind can you get? <laughs> Although I do think it is cool that like I could use like a small arm because I have blind sight instead of blind sense for sixty feet. Yeah, I think the uh, the concept of just being able to smell where somebody is and then shoot them in the face. It's cool, yeah, basically, but you're air devil little... this stuff. <laughs> yeah. But here's the I... question. I don't know how the system does it, but if you're at the end of the turn order, can you delay your action? What are you delaying it for your last? Until, like, let's say an enemy does something and then Tiran wants to jump in right afterward. Is I that allowed that. on another turn? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I effectively um, move out of initiative order until I want to come back in. So at oh. the end of anybody's turns, I can come back in. Well, in that case, this system does it way better than fuck me. Delay, delay is actually pretty cool then. Oh yeah. yeah, it's just I lose it if I wait until my turn would come back up again. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. That's cool, that's cool. So I'm going to delay because I don't really have anything that's going to be useful. But I guess I could start spear fighting these guys. But I mean, I'm just going to get mobbed. No matter how many concealment chances they have to roll, they're gonna hit. They're gonna hit a couple of them. Do you want to get on my back? Um. Actually, yeah. I'll delay after I'm on your back, like next turn. That's a good idea, I, actually. I, I have an mm -hmm. idea, and if you're on my back, we can get the hell out of dodge. Tibron oh, jumps. Um. Like, Kuzan tells him to get on his back, so Tiran just kind of calmly steps up on his back. <laughs> Trusting that Kuzan has a good idea. <laughs> you know what you guys should have done? Him. Instead of jumping on the back, Kuzan should have grabbed you, and you, should, you guys should have done that thing from uh, Infini uh, Infinity War, where, you know, that guy is keeping the raccoon up in one hand, and you're both, like, spinning around, killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Me and uh, me and a tiger gotta do that sometime. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Right. <laughs> Aiden, uh, that's me, and I'm sick of this guy's shit. He slowed me down last turn, so I wanna get rid of him. Uh, I'm gonna use my uh, trick attack on him, but uh, I'm gonna describe it in a sec. First, I'm gonna assume that's good enough. So I'm gonna use the ability that basically, you know, gives him uh, lowers his shit by uh, two. And God, you assume. How dare you assume? <laughs> so that's 11 plus 3d8. No, wait. Oh, yeah, 3d8 it's now. Fuck yeah, it's amazing. There we go. 22. I'm gonna assume that's enough to put him down. 
Well, let's see if you can actually hit him. Uh, 11. Oh shit, I, I rolled an 11? Fuck. One second. Oh, he is at the minus two, though. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. What did I put? Is, I, know, I remember the dude over there. Is it attacker's advantage on the AC or is it defenders? I thought we agreed um, it's attackers, there's right? No, there's no advantage on AC. If you meet AC, you hit. Just... Ah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Okay, you do hit. Sweet. <laughs> that oh, goes wow. for enemies or, or PCs if you meet the AC. Right, so what happens is Aiden actually puts his knife away and he's like, the fuck? And then the weapon that he dropped, I use my fit, uh, foot to hook it. I yank it into my arms and as he's confused, I just, with the butt of his weapon, BAM! To the side of the head. <laughs> and as he collapses like a sack of potatoes, Aiden's like, amateur. I drop his gun on top of him and I jump over him. 10, 20, 40. Uh, what's over here? That's a hollow screen displaying data of the current area. You know, like temperature, 40. Uh, delivery routes. Gotcha. Uh, is there a map of the area? Yes. Uh, can I quickly right. check uh, about, about this area and an alternative screen? way to get behind these fuckers? Uh, well, currently, from the data, if you peruse it, there's the door here yeah. that you can come out of, and you can run up here, or you can come up here, and apparently these are the main doors. So you would enter a crucible normally for here, but since it's locked down, you would have to enter it for a door that's just past this area. Gotcha. Okay, that's course, my turn if you then. enter it into... If you enter the crucible, you never know what's gonna happen, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't leave my boys behind. I gotta go give them a hand. It's fine. Kudon, what is your plan with Tivon on your back? Um, I guess it's just my question. What do mm -hmm. I know about this screen here? Oh, uh, <clears throat> you'd have to know Arcane. Oh, it is a... it is an Arcane thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. Never mind, I know nothing about it. <laughs> yeah, nothing. Um... Oh, fuck, no. How does how does backing up in the smoke work? Like, they still get their opportunity attack, or they not? Um... That... Normally, they would, but they're staggered. Oh. Okay. Uh, Ash, sorry to interrupt for a sec, but I fucked up. Mm -hmm. At level 5, I get my boost. So it's not a 3d8, it's a 1d8. So instead of 22, I would have dealt 14. Is that still enough to down the guy? I'm going to say for sake of this expediency, yes. Okay. <laughs> I was, uh, I had an idea, <laughs> but it's not going to work because I don't know anything about the barrier. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to call to Tivron while I'm like piloting. <laughs> And, uh, and it's like, I think that's a wall of magic bullshit. Can you figure it out? <laughs> <laughs> Just so, figure out the uh, bullshit. Oh, by the way, you're not actually <laughs> staggered yeah. anymore. Yeah, so we stop staggering my toe. Well, uh -huh. I will tell you this. Uh, essentially, the, this is what I've dubbed a inexperienced troop. As okay. riots, because normally riot, uh, I mean, troops are immune to things like stagger and the like, but I've taken those away since normally troops are as like a much higher CR than what you guys are now. I'll, uh, I'll zap, I'll zap the asshole through the wall top. <laughs> <laughs> just, just keep fucking zapping the dude that <laughs> it's like, why? Why are you only attacking me? Poor bastard. Just one guy excessively punished. Uh, it's not already. fire damage, it's 2d4. <laughs> oh, well, 2d4 then. You can see him messing around with the main gun, and you can see it start to glow a bit as he touches it. Oh boy. This guy is delaying his turn again. <laughs> Cover. Say, so your guys didn't have much time to talk to me. Where's the major at right now? In the crucible or down on the field? Oh, uh, he's in the crucible. Like, inside. He's told us not to let anyone in there. But... 
No, that's all right. We've radio through. We've been talking to some of your guys for a while. There's going to be no problems here. You got to bet out and help your boys as quick as you can. All right, I, I see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, I'm just going gonna, gonna to move here and, uh, I guess, delay actions in case my situation changes, but that's it for uh, now. So you, I was going to say, because you can move further, but you're delaying your action, are you? Okay. Right, this, uh, this guy's gonna go, oh, okay then, then he's gonna wander out here. Yeah, he can wander all the way out here. <laughs> I'm not sure if Kuzon would see, but essentially Prava went in and an enemy came out. <laughs> oh boy. Prava betrayed us. Well, I, I, I knew Prava was going in, so... Betrayal. <laughs> All right, so this is a 50%. Oh, actually, that dude has to reload. <laughs> All right, once we're loading, the other is going to actually attempt to shoot at you. Cool. Oh, no. Wait, is that hang on. me? Yep, but uh, hang on. Nope. Okay, so, fuck. God damn smoke. <laughs> so essentially he fires and he's like, oh my god, I see him. And it's like vroom, just barely like between Tivron and the mech, just vroom. Uh -huh. Smoke, baby. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. This guy's gonna delay as well with his harrying fire. Uh yeah, I believe he that's has line of sight of this guy, right? What is the gun on Kuzan on Kuzan's back? It is both. It can it is a grenade launcher and also the stun gun. What type of grenades? Kuzan, uh, let's go for grenades. I have flash grenade, a riot grenade, a foam grenade, and two smoke grenades. Um, you only have one riot grenade. Yeah, and it it staggers people. That's what it do? It doesn't do any damage though. No. The, the only thing I have that actually does damage is my stop gun. Well, okay. you also have a mech. I mean, you could walk through. I mean, I I can I can kill I can stop people into the dirt with my mech, but I, I you know. I I think I have the better sense not to do that. <laughs> you could also make the crowd extra blind since troops are not immune to being blinded. <laughs> what about the foam grenade? What does that do? Uh that is I think that was for stopping fires and for making improvised cover or blocking off entrances kind of deal. Yeah, essentially it would um make a ten foot square and would extinguish fires within its reach, but then it would also basically turn solid. Okay, so if I were to shoot these guys with that, not only would I immobilize them, I'd probably asphyxiate them, right? I don't think they'd suffocate that time. Nah, that'll be fine. It's just a minute, basically. Okay, so would you say right here would hit most of them with that uh, grenade? Oh, I should not. All right then. So essentially, all you hear as it hits the ground is, oh, actually, you got ten. That's below the thing. Will we one d eight? It's not far scatter, but it's a scatter. I think it's about the same number of people. I think that's right. still fine. I mean, that's the, good thing. that's the good thing about being surrounded. You can't miss. <laughs> yeah, I think that's exactly the same amount of people that you would have gotten if you just had it one square to the right, like what we wanted. It just means there's two people at the edge who aren't, <laughs> who aren't all caught up in it. <laughs> so like, and you hear, what the hell? Ah, what the? And you just... <laughs> You gotta appreciate how fanatic these bastards are considering they're facing a giant ass mech. <laughs> right. Um, what are you going to do, Aiden? Aiden takes a quick uh, look around uh, behind the scenes, hoping he would have found, you know, some controls maybe for the power so he can, he can cut off the lights or the barrier because he still doesn't know it's magical. But at a quick yes. glance, he can't spot anything, so he just clicks his tongue in frustration and starts heading back to the door that knows leads uh, to the other side. So that's 10. That's uh, 20. Is the door open? Yes. 
Aiden uh, bursts through it, uh, taking something out of his uh, pockets and he goes, surprise motherfuckers. And uh, take a wild guess what he's about to throw at them, Ash. Oh my god. <laughs> I am gonna pop a, a smoke grenade over here. Um, <laughs> just to let you know, I have a, um, a uh, grenade is a ranged attack throw, not a strength check. Oh. Yeah. You, d you, you made an attack roll before. Why are you making a strength check now? <laughs> uh. That's a dex. That's what? what? Um, no, it's a ranged attack roll. Make attack. So you have to... Wait. Um... Shoot your gun. Oh, yeah, pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I, think you're, I think you're better. So fourteen. I, I think you were better at doing the strength attack. Uh, but wait, attack because it's a thrown weapon, doesn't White use the strength? I thought that's White uses uses strength. Because it's you know it's a. It's no, you a. Use your base attack bonus, which is what you wanted to use, not. Right over here. Yep. Right, and... it goes another flipping smoke grenade. And after I, uh, after, uh, after I blunt those fuckers, I'm, I'm Aiden's immediately gonna reach for his ear and uh, turn on the comm. Guys, the big gun is uh, covered in smoke. Move up. And I'm actually gonna take a step back because I noticed that there's some people up in the rafters and I'm gonna take some cover on the other side of this door. And that's my turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in with my delayed action when Aiden finishes his turn here. Um, so I can just use my action to move an extra, like my movement, an extra 30 feet. Yeah. No, it is it is dex modifier for throwing grenades. I just looked it up again. I'm gonna move up to here and then my nice turn. makes it easier. Okay. Now, who's on? Your plan is enacting a SWAT like maneuver. What are you going to do? Here's a really stupid question. It's probably not. It would never work. But I definitely can't use my grappling hook and pull my mech around. It's definitely no. not strong enough for that. It's, Boy, it's do half I want a ton. It. It's more than half. It's more than a ton and a half. <laughs> You're not going to pull that along with your grappling hook. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm considering spending a resolve point boosting the engine of this thing and whipping it around these people. Yeah, just uh, you could could just uh, run around, run over these two poor saps, or run straight through these poor saps. I mean, what's what's the, the likelihood jump? of killing somebody if I do that? The mech does not have a, the jump modification, no. It does not got ups. These creatures take bludgeoning damage equal to the uh, vehicle's collision damage, but they can attempt a reflex save. I mean, you're literally piloting a giant it's, mech it's that's in a car. Oh, 5d4. Okay. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I was just trying to find it out of the... Right, so that's 14, and you did twice up, so you can move on up if you want. With Tiv 1. Hello! And your mech takes... 7 damage. But these guys also take 7 damage, and are very hurt, <laughs> and very trapped. <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out that you ran over the same fucking dudes from last time. <laughs> that poor bastard. The guy's like, I only threw one there, Molotov. <laughs> well, he did throw it in somebody who was trying to talk. So, he's kind of the worst. Oh, God. And then he was later like, oh, but I was told not to kill anybody. Reminds me of that meme where two fights are fighting and only one guy constantly keeps getting hurt. <laughs> uh, like every time the two mobs clash, Why? everybody's fine. He, only there's this one yeah. dude that gets more and more beat up. Like both sides That's are only wailing end. on him. That's the end of my turn. How? So this is like a net. How big is like the mesh? The mesh, it just says one point to the other. So I'd say around about five feet. So like what I mean is like the space between the mesh. So like, like a five foot creature could fit <clears> through that. Um, one moment, let me check. I'm just curious, because if it's too tight for like anything to get through, I'm just curious if like if I had to, if I could use my ability to squeeze to like... You have to make a reflex slow, uh, reflex throw slope, throw, or take, uh, damage. Okay. Basically. Right then. <laughs> what the hell is this? You can see in a flurry of what seems to be tiny tiny machines suddenly the guy who 
was down there is suddenly before you. Just so we're clear, is there is there still one of him down there? Is, is yes. There two of them now? There are two of them now. So half their members have been stuck. They're all trying to help them out. And let me make a roll for them. They did not get out. Lovely. <laughs> this guy is going to move forwards. Talk about being stuck between there? smoke, riot grenades, a giant mech, and a very keen doggo. You can't come here, though. And you see him, like, putting the gun at your mech. He's like, ha And you just see flares landing all around you. And this guy's going to delay his action again. <laughs> Meanwhile, the snipers, on the other hand, have prepared their weapon. You must weapons. have a really sinister plan cooked up. Yeah, no kidding. That he would never one's get Pava. to. <laughs> and no, no, wait. One's just for Pava. The other one's laying his turn. I don't know why I rolled twice. Is that KAC or? KAC, yes. Did it hit? My KAC is 15. Ah, so basically he shoots. You just barely avoid his lands into the wall. These guys are not that experienced, apparently. Bravo. Okay, it's gone. So, okay uh, so this guy on the left, make a fortitude save. Nope. Oh, okay, let's, let's see. Okay, he, so that guy is now it. here. Uh, he's gonna oh. fall 10 feet. <laughs> That's 1d6 fall damage and he gets knocked prone. That's 20 feet, actually. Oh, okay. It's 2d6 fall damage and he gets knocked prone. Nice. Oh, yeah, but he is prone as well, so. Uh, what button can I use for prone? There you go. You just... <laughs> uh... And Prav was gonna casually, like, finish that hand wave and turn around and look at the doctor and be like, Greetings, doctor. I'm a humble news reporter here to interview the Major. I'd like to get the eyes of the galaxy upon you. Could you let me by to speak to him? The orders have been given. No one passes. But surely the situation has changed. And I probably don't have any time to talk more than that, so it's the end of my turn. <laughs> Tivon. You're on the back. Alright, can I take a mysticism check to identify this barrier? Yes, you may, since you've gotten close to it. 16? Question mark. 16. Okay, this... And I don't think it's that high of C. No, it's not. So yes, you did make it. It's called laser net. Essentially, these lasers that keep shifting before you, they are a pretty dangerous thing. They are anchored between two points. Uh, they have a duration of about one minute per level. And if you do, you take fire damage if you get hit by them, if you don't make a reflex save. Let's see, because I can't counter spell unless I know the spell, and I don't have dispel magic. Mm -hmm. So let me see what I've got in my toolbox here. It is a Technomancer spell, and it is Conjuration. And you said it's anchored between two points? Yes. So does that mean, like, if we interfere with one of the points, it'll fall over? Yeah, it doesn't explain it like that. I just assume, like, when it says two know, points, it's more or less air. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm kind of comparing it to, like, the web spell. Because I know with the web spell, if, like, if it if you did something to the wall, the web would, like, collapse and be on the floor. I'm assuming these walls probably look a little too thick for us to just Kool-Aid man, Kool man through one side and then Kool-Aid man out the other side. <laughs> Essentially, they, are, they look metal, so... <laughs> yeah, it'd be pretty difficult. Um, oh, yeah! Fuck. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could try it. It does have a hardness and HP. <laughs> and they're shooting sniper rounds out at us? Uh, not at you, since the smoke is blocking it, but they were shooting at Prava. Um... Well, one of them was, and he got thrown off his edge for his trouble. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> you don't mess with the bug. Let's see. If he thinks that he's in trouble with Prava, just you wait until Prava's fans get a hold of him. Oh wow. What are they gonna do? Uh, we are asking him on Twitter. On Twitter. 
going to cancel you. <laughs> we went to the same place. <laughs> I'm saying all these guys are getting docks, all right? The docks in a so right? I'm not a, I'm not close enough to make the caster's head explode. Um, fuck. That sounds very anti, you know. Uh, it doesn't sound lethal at all, man. Level two mind thrust, four d tens of damage. Um. God, like I almost want to cast fog cloud. Because the battlefield doesn't Again. have enough fox. Well, well, you have smoke grenades. That's, that's what I was saying. Like it's getting rid. Fog cloud, <laughs> but yeah. Um, I just I... wish there was a way for us to get past this thing. I don't think there is. Without like. Without me like revving up the end and then fucking like, Kool Aid banning through the wall. By the way, guys, if you're quiet for a second, you can almost hear it. You can you can almost hear Ash while he's typing in his notes for the next turn, uh, for the next battle. We must all have uh, thermal vision so smoke doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of our signature move, huh? They are going to learn never to leave home without a fan. <laughs> You Some say big, that. Um, just like the enemies come with a big industrial fan everywhere they go. <laughs> uh, my Pathfinder first edition group, um, they're in this asylum that's got a bunch of like spooky hallucinogenic mist around in it. So the shaman took his little ion weird familiar that's like a floating rock and uh, cast a spell on it that basically turns it into a desk fan. So it just floats around them like a desk fan blowing the gas away. <laughs> nice. a good idea. It was a good idea. <laughs> Clever. So, uh, what are you doing exactly? I, like, I took an action, so I can't delay. So, I think I am going to, in case, I'm going to ready my level two mind thrust. And if this guy or these snipers come within 35 feet of me, I'm going to mind thrust them. I'm gonna thrust at them, understood. If they come, I doubt they're gonna come that far up. I just had a dark idea that would probably kill this guy. Oh, more dark ideas? Does it involve a giant yeah. leg stepping on him? No, I uh, I can load. So the thing is, is you can use the grappling hook to grapple, <laughs> to, to grapple the enemies. Get over here! So I would grab him and then move backwards and just pull him through the grid. Just to pull him in. Right, so let's see. That's pretty scorpion of you. Aiden, it's, it's your turn. Uh, uh, right, so I take out a smoke grenade and... No, no, no more smoke Please grenades. Stop. I'm actually yeah, out of smoke grenades. I, I used all my smoke grenades. I don't have any more. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, is it a safe bet that when I came out and popped that smoke, I noticed that there's two snipers up in the rafters? Uh, there was no smoke when you did that, so yes. Is it a safe bet to that I heard only one sniper round go off? Hmm. Oh, professionalism. Okay. 27. Yes. In that case, Aiden knows how this works. He 100% expects that the other sniper rifle is aiming for his door. So he looks down towards his belt and says, All right, little buddy, do your thing. And he presses a hidden button on his belt. And he creates mirror images of himself. Oh. Uh, what technique. do I roll? Is it the 1d4? I think it was a 1d4 or something. What, yeah, 1d4. Yeah, 1d4. So there's three clones of Aiden. And with that, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna run out. So as soon as I step out, does he take a pot shot? Uh, so wait, hang on. Oh, as mirror image. Okay, one yeah. second. Let me bring that up. Yep. 
the thing about it though um, that i'm not sure of when he when somebody rolls to hit me i'm not sure like uh, yeah i roll a 1d20 but i'm not sure on what row i actually get hit and on what row the clone actually gets hit i think the, I think the lower roll the lower end of your roll is when you get hit instead of a clone at least if i'm basing off the fifth edition mm -hmm. version of the spell yeah the spell doesn't actually specify that here so i'm not sure uh, so there's there's four copies of you. Uh, there's Half three copies each one, of me. One, well, there's four. I mean, including the original. Yeah. So so just make it so that like one through so like one to five hits you, five to ten hits a clone. Yeah. Ten to fifteen hits. Yeah, a clone, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Like, so he there. does hit, but would you roll me one d four and pick a number where you are? Uh, I'm one because that makes sense. So one d four, and nope. Two. So as soon as you exit out, all you see is like boom as your clone moves out the door first. The round dissipates it as you move out next. Yep. And he's probably like, the fuck? So that's five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. And then I take out my pistol and I lean over the railing here and I unload into him with my trick attack. Uh, so there's for my trick attack. And Hang on, trick attack's in a turn. Sorry, what? It's basically a full action. Oh so shit, right. Uh, oh yeah, I had to activate that as an action. No, 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 so I can only move. Yeah, I'm up here and I yeah. basically take cover behind the railing over here. And that's my turn. Yeah, I can't yeah, attack. Yeah, yeah, cover, Sorry. okay. Keep forgetting Cruise that's on. actually an action. <laughs> what dashly thing are you doing? I mean, your heroes, what am I about? Don't listen to me. <laughs> when I was here earlier, it sounds like you can just run through the, the mesh if you're willing to take the damage. DJ, are you here? I think his comms went down. Something's wrong with the mech. I'm sorry, I really had to step. I heard that. <laughs> he was lost to the ether. Who's um, on taking a piss in his mech? <laughs> I'm just gonna take a look here. I guess I don't want Tivron to get hurt though. I think if I drag Tivron through the mesh, he's gonna get fried. Oh, he's fine. Um, I'll survive, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I'm gonna. I am going to. Yeah, Tivron basically did tell you that. Like, there's no way he can dispel the mesh. Yeah. Uh, by the way, since you missed it, DJ, something, something that Cousin might be curious to find out. Aiden just used the holographic clone to bait the sniper and then he ran out. Yeah, no, I, I heard everything. I was just in the bathroom. I blew two minutes Um, okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Yeah, you're going to move forward? Um, yeah, I'm going to plow through this guy into the smoke screen. Oh, so you're using the collision action again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, right. So please roll me collision. And Tivon roll reflex. Okay, so Tivon, you failed your reflex. Please take seven damage. The Fire. mech takes eight damage in total from one damage from the fire and also from the collision with this guy. Nope. Oh, and that guy go. is peace. <laughs> <laughs> You're basically denting your mech. <laughs> I'm denting it with... I like I'm how we're already calling it the R mech. <laughs> I mean, what's gonna happen is this thing's gonna be a... This is Kuzan's plan all along. He's gonna destroy it just enough that he can buy it from scrap and then put it back together. Yeah, well, listen, the government's already gonna be mad at us for me streaming, so what's one more? Yeah, I don't think they're yeah, gonna realize a thing. mech's missing comp uh, com uh, compared to what Prava's doing right now. Right We've then. already burned these bridges, so we might as well just openly steal it. Do I? So does moving? Do I move through him? Yeah, you can move through yeah, him, just like, like you did with the wire. Right. Be like here. Oh, I went in thirty-five feet of that uh, dude in the black coat. Oh yeah, you are. Would you like to attack? Take a will save, sir. Will is not Technomancer's main stat. 
Oh. I miss pass what the fuck? That would be the uh, end of my turn. 17, what was the thing? Uh, I was DC 16. Sad uh, noises. And I rolled really bad for the damage, so you only take 7 points. Actually, yes, it actually just dissipates straight up since he only casted it at low level. Just to make sure Prava took, stopped. But he still gets to do something. And guess what he's doing? He uses wind. Wow. <laughs> okay. Not wind. Not again. And as soon as he does... <laughs> oh boy. Uh, this is actually... Plus four, so it's actually at plus ten. It hits for mech energy resistance and since it's charged the energy resistance is 14 yet yeah. and it's also charged from the thing that goes that mech mech's done and you just see the beam slice through the mech's midsection as the power just oh boy however hang on I got a yeah, you also see the gun also just <laughs> as what he did to it was essentially like the overdrive mechanic to it, and it also damaged the gun, and the gun is now broken too. Uh, I think the mech is destroyed. I think yep. we have to fail. <laughs> the mech has now stopped moving. Thankfully, this isn't the movies, and the mech doesn't automatically explode. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to steal it if we can't move it. All right, this guy is gonna stand up from being chucked down. He does not look happy, and he is going to move down here. This guy is gonna to attempt to take an attack against Aiden. Do I have at least partial cover? Yes, and because of that, he does not hit you. He nice. hits the light instead. Uh, let's see, the guy who you ran over... ...is going to attempt an attack, and he does not hit Tivon. Let me try getting these guys out. Yes, okay. But now there's another issue that these guys have to face. They are unwilling to go through the barrier. <laughs> They're just hesitating there, like, oh. <laughs> so, aww. So, why, why did you go over there? Don't you like us? <laughs> I gotta be like that, huh? But why you gotta be like that, man? Uh, is there anyone else currently? Oh no, this guy's. By the way, the guy you talked to, brother, has just fucking left. <laughs> He's just gone. <laughs> he just kept walking down. Like, I'm oh, gonna get fired for way. this. Yes, he's just like, oh, uh, no, that's just, no. This guy's gonna step back away from the gun. The situation is nope. Bravo. Okay, um, so Bravo's gonna leap from where he is to jump on top of these boxes. Gonna make a jump? So is that, yeah. How far is it? Um, no, let's see, check, let's take... <laughs> we check the jump rules to see how easy it is to jump 20 feet. Oh, uh, you're gonna have to make an athletics, I forgot to have sure. Sadly, Aiden has not uh, taught you the magic of ups. <laughs> Man has mad game in basketball. I can dunk from across the field. I actually can't find anything that says like, hold on. If you want to jump, an extra equal thing. To the number of feet you're attempting to jump. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so okay. it's a pretty hard jump. Yeah, I'm <laughs> second. Uh, just because I've um I've been in attunement for a while, so I'm fully graviton attuned. Um, 
How hard is it just to climb down then? <laughs> it would about take you an extra, since it's only 10 feet, uh, and you would lower yourself down an extra five bit of movement. So basically, you're hanging down and just dropping yourself down. Yeah, probably going to walk um, down to about. Ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty. Um, Bravo's gonna come, to the and everyone within twenty feet of him makes a fortitude save. Oh, here we go again. The Dunkening. Dunk place. Oh. You don't like smoke? How oh, you like them dunks then? Let me have a look. What was what was it again? Twenty feet. So this one, yeah, this one, and this one. All right. Let me check. <laughs> the only one to make it is the good doctor. Yeah, He's DC guy. sixteen. Is not only a fifteen or save a bonus. That's not. In the oh way. no, he has a, he has a okay. he has a one bonus, and that's it. Is this so in, in Starfinder? Is it matching it, beating it? I thought most systems matching it is failing it. I thought you're supposed to roll higher than the save. Wait, is it? I'm not yeah. sure. It might be different. Mm, well, if it, if it matches the DC, high. then it's successful. Okay, okay. there you go. I, I know in Fit that matching the DC benefits the person attacker usually and no it's it's your matching the, the check the, difficulty in piezo systems you just yeah if you meet that number then you succeed okay, okay. Well, that's all i got but at least i got that guy off the turret that was my main goal with this move was to get that one lad yes you got him off the turret so he can't attempt to fix it <laughs> and they just all pulled this poor sniper guy is being pulled around by you whichever way Bob I have two really moves bully. that eat people, and they're like the only moves I use now. <laughs> they're just so good. By the way, Ash, we're not done. We're on. Because this guy now has to take a pot shot at the lot over down there that has been taking all the abuse. We're not done yet. We need more fuckery. Tivon, what are you attempting to do? Um, well... I mean, I know I continue to do it, but... You can't be the smoke doggo without the smoke. We want the smoke, man. <laughs> All you hear is swearing as he sees another can of fucking smoke, bro. So no, this one's a fog cloud that I can control. Ah, okay. You still hear swearing, though. <laughs> this one's a 20 feet spread. And I want to... Do you want the 20 feet to be... Um, I basically want to, um, make it so this sniper guy up here can't see us. Um, I want to block the tech the Technomancer's line of sight as well. So, here? Uh. Or would you like to shape it? Because it's a, it's a spread instead of yeah. a... Yeah. Um. Would you like just to put it all across and cover Prava? <laughs> Do I get any minuscule? Left, right, well, center, above? Yeah, Spin. just put it where you were. I just wanted to be blocking Kuzan from taking a sniper shot when he gets out of the mech here. Okay. Oh, don't worry, that sniper's going down next round. I don't want the next round. Technomancer to throw like an acid splash at him or something. You hear the Technomancer, it's like, what is with all this fog and smoke? <laughs> <laughs> This is nothing. I am, the, I am the fog dog. The legend of the fog dog grows. Next time I next time I bring uh, goggles. Air conditioning <laughs> is required in this building. Um, and then I'm gonna hop down off of the mech and move into the smoke. Ha! <laughs> ah yes, the fog dog in his natural element. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> Aiden. Uh, since, the, my spear. since the sniper just took a pot shot, I'm just gonna lean over and uh, return the favor real quick. 
29 and here comes the pew pew since I have my pistol out so that's uh, plus 1d8 I'm not sure if that actually doubles on a critical I'm gonna assume probably not so no wait that's not the critical crit. oh yeah no I, I watched that I you got max damage yeah. and you did manage to down him yeah uh, for my move action, I am first of all gonna put my uh, gun away and I want to literally super uh, superhero landing over here. You can move your like 30 feet in movement, so 40. Essentially, or 40, yeah. So, yeah, even you can cool down over to this. No, so no, 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 that's not cool enough. I want to do acrobatics and superhero landing right in front of him. Bam! Sup. <laughs> Douche, sub. And I'm done. just looking at you like. <sighs> Stop resisting. And I crack my knuckles, please. Uh, mercenaries. Oh, it's the same with you. Cruise on. Oh, wait, you need your. T you, you can drag your token on if you want to get out of a mech. <laughs> Dude, I I kind of am question. By the way, inside I... you you hear, can you please not forget me, sir? I mean, you did put me in the mech. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull it out <laughs> as I'm. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank um, God. A question. <laughs> yes. Do I have access to the grenades on this thing? Are they you can still fire. You can still fire the weapons. They can be manually fired from the back. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I thought you said that the weapon was damaged when you shot it. I don't know, but mech was damaged. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> so, like, I can, I can use Tevron's, like, position to get on the guns and stuff? Yeah. You just climb out and get on top with your movement. I like to imagine you just, like, lizard clamber among the side of it to, like, whip around to the back. It's like, <laughs> 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 I am, uh. Well, I guess I'll use my move action and I'm gonna exo target this guy from outside the mech you just see like Kuzan's like goggles light up and uh just like bearing down on him and I'm just gonna open fire with the with the zappy zaps can I can I do a full round fire with them like I can other weapons or is it only one shot uh grenade launches only one shot I believe well I'm using the zap zaps Oh, we zap zaps. Uh, it's not unwieldy, so yes. Full attack, baby. Exocortex. You. Ah, oh well. I have once at least. Uh, so roll 2d4. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to imagine that like Kuzan's like on the roof of this thing the guy's like haha I broke your back and then you see Kuzan like rip and rip out the wiring to the guns and he's like hey, what are you doing <laughs> so you're firing here by the way how tall did you make this fog to Vaughn well until it's max spread it's not so wanted on the view five feet tall that's true so yeah that's true like, shape it up if you want it to be <clears throat> yeah that's true that's true so yeah you can you can hit him from your position high up on the mech. Yeah, I'll I'll ping him for like two. <laughs> He's like, ow, son of a! <laughs> you hurt my fucking mech. I kill you. I kill you. All right, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> just uh, just all Kuzan's doing is because uh, I can't use the controls in the mech to fire the weapons anymore. I'm just, uh, I'm just like, I pull out the wires, I do the thing, I did the thing I did with the ship, or with the car, or like, instead of using the, the controls, I like basically wrap them around my mechanical arm, and I'm, I'm basically controlling it manually by like, energizing wires and stuff. Mm hmm I just gotta see. Like, but I just like that visual of like no, there's no actual controls that Kuzan can like access, but he can like control it by like ripping out the wires and like touching wires together and just like totally manually firing this thing. 
By the way, Ash, if you're thinking of moving or casting something, Caden is glaring at this boy very menacingly. Before you destroy my life, I'd like to point out that this guy's a sniper, and the other guy was using a turret, so he probably doesn't have a gun drawn. <laughs> destroy my life. <laughs> By the way, he is going to look at you, Aiden, and then he's going to go, like, lift up his hand slowly. I'm going to break those fingers unless you put them down. And then what he's going to do is you know, click his fingers, and all you see is the exact same thing that happened to the hologram before that Prava was looking at. You just see this go into millions of microbots. Son of a bitch. Oh, I know what he's doing. Okay. However, you are within range of something, which you know what? <laughs> Despite everything and the fact that he could just leave, uh, I want you to make a will save. Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Please don't make it. Oh. <laughs> I'm Can gonna you not wait, enjoy that, you... that much, please? <laughs> I'm going to read you what the description of this spell says. Baneful polymorph. The target shrinks slightly. No, it no, wait, no, wait. Oh, no, it does, yeah. You shrink slightly. Uh, you gain a few cosmetic bestial features of the animal he chooses, which is going to be a dog. Yes, a dog. Because you're a mercenary dog. <laughs> and so you gain dog ears and a dog tail, and you shrink. You gain minus one to AC attack rolls, melee. No, actually, minus two to AC attack rolls, melee rolls, reflex saves. Uh, yeah, strength and strength and dexterity ability based rolls and checks <laughs> for one two three okay two for two minutes you are basically a teenager dog boy right now it seems like he did that purely for spite uh, it, this is like um <laughs> pathfinder where every round is six seconds yeah that's 20 rounds yeah. of him being stuck as a dog Aiden's gonna take a <laughs> Aiden's gonna take a quick glance at himself pat himself down take notice of deers and he just mumbles you know i really am gonna break those fingers 